Hello everyone. I tell you, it's been a lot going on as I have been trying to get through and making this video and letting you all know what has been going on in the last few hours. I tell you, the enemy is mad because God is going to get the glory in what I have to say today. No matter what, I'm going to continue to work and make sure that I get this said and done today, man. So basically, I just wanted to share about how last night I had an ordeal where um, I was dealing with some things with how last week I had talked about um, how we have soul wounds and sometimes we deal with rebellion. And sometimes when we are dealing with those things, you, don't, it, you internalize things. And I was realizing that I had let go of my many part-time positions in this last week. And it took a, a toll on me because I realized that I was having a lot of uh, kind of uh, like, kind of like when a person is going through DTs. So I was kind of detoxing and, uh, and I was feeling really frustrated with myself because letting go of so many lovely clients kind of took me for a loop. So I realized that I had been dealing with eating a lot of different foods when I had not even realized that I was doing so. And I realized that because I was doing this, it was causing me a lot of pain. By morning time, I was trying to eat healthy, but by the afternoon, I ended up having a lot of problems with my stomach and I would eat and just eat and not even really noticing that I was doing it until after it was done and my stomach was hurting. Well, yesterday, I actually had a, a real purging situation and it just hit me in tears because I realized that I had been in rebellion. I had been in an issue where I was trying to sit and deal with my letting go of all the situations that I had just let go of. But instead of giving it to God, I took it on myself. And I started to eat emotionally and try to allow my food to be my comfort. And I realized that food has been my comfort for most of my life, but I realized now that that's not the way to go. So I'm playing this song in my background and it's called Come Out of Hiding by Ty Tribbett. Now I love a lot of Ty Tribbett songs. And this one in particular is one of my most favorite because it really spoke to my testimony. I have had issues with speaking out and sharing my voice with the world for as long as I've known. And I've been in hiding. I've been afraid to share my, my thoughts, my, my mind with the world until I realized that I am loved by God. I just wanted to share a few of the ly lyrics with it with you of this song and it says come out of hiding you're safe with here with me there's no need to cover what I already see you've got your reasons but I hold your space you've been on lockdown but I hold the key see God tells us that he already knows the plans for our lives but we have come to a place where we try to hold on to those things that are just keeping us in the problem, in problem areas, because the enemy tries to keep us in cycles. But in reality, God wants us to come out of hiding. He wants us to stop being afraid, stop being ashamed, stop feeling guilty, because when we allow those emotions to get in the way of what he wants to do in us, 
then that's when we are allowing the devil to get in our lives. We need to allow God to be in that place, to fill those voids, to allow him to love us the way he wants to love us, to have that relationship that he so desperately wants to have with us. I tell you, last night when I finally let go and said, Lord, I'm sorry. I am so sorry for what I have done. He just held me. I felt it. I felt it when he held me. And he didn't just, he didn't condemn me. He didn't make me feel like I was less than. He allowed me to see that he loved me in spite of myself, in spite of my sins. And he forgave me right then and there. And that's why I wanted to share with you all today, no matter what you do in life, you have an opportunity to say, Lord, I'm sorry. And confess your sins, confess your faults. Give it over to God because he's able and willing and just to forgive you. He says it in his word. He loves us all. And his word he tells us that he loves us all, one and all, and unconditionally. No matter what we do, no matter what we've done, no matter what we're going to do, he still loves us. I want you to know, uh, I also read in Ephesians 1, 3 through 5, it says, blessed be the God of our, of our Lord, I'm sorry, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ, just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestined us to adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will. Now that word speaks so much to me because we are redeemed in Christ. We have God with us each and every day of our lives as the Holy Spirit dwells within us. If we allow God to enter into our lives, we allow him to be there for us. We have to invite him in. If we don't invite him in, he can't come in. You have to say, Lord, I want you to come into my life today. If you don't say it, he won't come. You have to choose you this day whom you will serve, and he will allow you to be able to be in his life. He wants to be in relationship with you, and he wants you to want a relationship with him. I tell you, this song just makes me want to just cry every time I hear it, right when it gets to this part. Oh, how he loves us. Oh, how he loves us. He loves us so much that he gave his only begotten son to die on a cross for our sins. And because he died that unmerciful death for me and you, he did that so he can let us know he paid all of our sin debt. The sins that we do yesterday, today, and tomorrow, it's already been paid. So all we have to do is come before him and say, I'm sorry, forgive me for what I've done. Forgive me for the things that, but don't go and think that you can be forgiven if you're gonna do it on purpose and realizing that you're gonna go out there and just sin just because you know you can. God knows your heart. He wants you to know that he knows your heart. He wants you to have a heart for him. He wants you to want more from him, love him, love others, and love yourself enough to be in Christ. I thank God for Jesus today, and I thank God for you. If you are dealing with things and not sure as to where to go from here, just pray this prayer with me today. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you now, and I thank you for your word, and I thank you for your goodness and your grace. I pray right now, Lord God, that if there is anything that is in my heart that is not like you, Lord God, I ask you to forgive me, Lord God. Forgive me for all of my sins. Forgive me for my wrongdoing, Lord God. I confess right now, Lord God, and Lord, I pray right now that I believe that you have raised Jesus from the dead, and I believe that you are with me today. I am asking that you will be in relationship with me forever and ever. Amen. I thank you, God. 
you if you choose to do so today, you can be in relationship with God right this minute. So faith, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Regardless of what you've done and how you feel, faith is believing without seeing. So you can believe and know that God is God and God alone and know that he is there to give, give you all the desires of your heart and bless you in, in everything that you do. Just trust and believe today. I thank you for allowing me to come in your presence. I thank you for allowing me to just be able to say a word for God today. And I'm praying that you will receive something from what I've said today. May you be blessed. And thank you.